happy. Hello. Welcome back to Color in Canvas. As you can see, I am already fast forwarding through this video. And why am I doing that? Because originally this painting was four and five flip cups. And I had bought some new paint. I wanted to test it out with a new pouring medium. So I was trying to empty these bottles of the older paint and uh, use them up on a painting. Well, I wasn't real thrilled with how this uh, ring pour turned out. Uh, it was colorful, it was interesting, but it was not exciting to me. So rather than uh, scrape it, I just left it to use as a base coat. It was fresh, it was colorful, and I poured over top of it, which was the traveling straight pour that created this painting, The Divide. So I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this because really, uh, in a way, this was prepping the base coat <laughs> in a very unusual way. So we'll see the rest of this and then I'll switch you back to the original audio and we can uh, see how we did that straight pour for the divide. Let's do a rainbow straight pour. Yes. Have some gold. I'm putting the gold at the end of the cup. Some 24 karat gold and some regular gold. And then all the other colors. I'm going to put them in order, in rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, Blue, I don't have a lot of blue left. That's the end of the blue. Oops. And I think I'll use our purple this time. And what are we doing differently? I'm going to take some of my 24 karat gold and put it in a cup. I'm going to mix it with my other gold too. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. I want it to be a thinner consistency. Just a few drops of water. And I'm going to pour it into the cup from up high so that those golds will go all the way through the cup. And now we're just going to do a straight pour across the canvas. and run across the middle. I know it's weird. It's definitely weird. It's 
especially running that gold line through the middle. That was especially weird. But that's what I want. Just see what we have. Did you see that? Got some paint. I transferred some paint. That was a mistake. This is really slippery after having all the paint on it from the first one. So it's very, very hard to hold at this point. Looks like a spine. Just organizing it a little bit, just to get that into the middle. love how it looks on both of these sides. The red thing in the middle is really unique. So, what can we do? Can we pour any of it off? Let's try. Nope. Turn it like this. That is some otherworldly stuff going on there. But that is kind of cool. I'm just going to torch it. I can see a few tiny little air bubbles in there. done. This is done. It wasn't much of a tutorial, but it's done. So I may edit it together and show you guys how it happened. But in the meantime, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That is all. Anyways, go paint something beautiful. Have some fun. And uh, something really unexpected may come out. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.